Well, here we are, the start of Mount Olympus. How do you feel about that? He's not with us, he was just here. <laughs> this is the Gortzia Trailhead, which from the altimeter, 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 is, is about 1,092 meters. I thought it was gonna be higher, unless it's wrong. It's a bit lower than uh, the So we've got a bit of like a 1,500 meter up trek today to Refuge B, Aggie, uh, at some point I will find the name of that. <laughs> uh, if we go over here to the map. We are obviously here. We're going up here. And our refuge is there. Apos Apostolidis. Apostolidis. And then the day after, Matikas. So a big walk today. And so to begin with, you walk through a little wooded area, which is quite atmospheric right now. So the path so far is really easy to follow. Uh, you go through like a woodland. We just bumped into some English guys with a guide, I think, and asked if they'd been at Matikas today. And he said no, they went up Scolio because uh, there, was, there was snow, even today, whatever that means. So whether we can go up, we'll have to wait and see. But well, I hope we can, otherwise maybe it's Scolio Peak, which is, one of the three anyway. There's a real stillness. Got the smell of the pines, the birds chirping, occasional drop of rain and creaking branch. Sun's starting to come out. It's beautiful. It's uh, it's very well signposted. I mean, it's hard to get lost, and, and I'm always second guessing myself. You've got these posts, and down there, there's that rock. Uh, um, still, we continue through the woodlands. Uh, just a slog up and down and around through quite lush surrounds. Um, it was raining this morning, quite quite bad when we got up. We all got up about six, stopped at Hotel Myrto in Little Choro. Um, and then we drove here. It took us about 25 minutes to drive to Gortz here which is sort of head towards Prionia, and then it's just on the side of the road, you can't really miss it, but it comes up on Google Maps. When you're in Littacharo, it didn't seem to before. So we've come to a crossroads. Here's your sign. As you can quite plainly see from it, the way to go. <laughs> uh, not that way, there's a bench thing there. And here we're heading towards this way. <laughs> You've got the red thing there anyway, so you can't miss it. This is a little cool, craggy bit. So the mountain from Gortzia is an ascension of from Gortzia to Matika, so the top of Olympus is an ascension of 1,650 meters. Uh, the refuge which we're stopping at is at 2,697 meters, I think. And so the majority of the walk we do today from about 1,100 meters 
for the refuge. Uh, I think it's a 12k walk from the car park to the top. Obviously the same back. Uh, the woods go on for ages and if you love the woods that's great. Like Beck loves the woods so that's cool and I like the woods but I prefer to be out there and on top and looking around, looking out and about. And I think you can't quite see on the camera very well but I think we're kind of getting somewhere at last. As you come into what appears to be the end of the woods, at least for a period I think, uh, you come right down up a really steep bit. I think Beck's gone a, a, a more zigzaggy route. I didn't see that but to be honest I would have gone the route I came anyway. You just straight up, they've got the red markers. Uh, misty. And the most pressing question as we make our way up this mountain is why don't they use hot air balloons to rescue people on Everest? I, I said because, you know, flames and need oxygen. Beck said, well, they send balloons into space, yeah, which is a fair point. Space, so why can't that balloon go over the mountain with propellers to guide it around? So if anybody knows the answer to this question, please post. Thank you. <laughs> so, and once again, we've come to a crossroads. You can either go to Anathema, which is cool, to the left. or Petra Struga, which is to, to the right, which is a refuge. The, the way that they tell you down there is to go to Petra Struga, which I think we're going to do. Anathema on the map, on our map, looks a little bit more narrow. We don't know. It's hard to... It might be absolutely fine going that way. I'm sure you can go that way. But it looks shorter. I don't know now. I think we're going to go Petra Struga. Well, contrary to the Gortia Trailhead path, we decided to go to Anathema. Uh, the first bit's really simple. You just you, you just go that direction. Actually, all the red marks go up there anyway. And then you come out at the top, and here is where it gets a little bit more confusing, I suppose. That's why that's why it, I mean it's not a well-worn path in the same way. But there's a marker there just ahead. Well, it's not red, but we'll use a combination of a map and our phones and just our eyes now, and I'll keep you updated. Right, if you choose to come this way, it is a case of spotting the red, and it is you, you're doing a little bit of scrambling up muddy banks, really, like That's trees, and, but it's a cool way to do it. But if you... Otherwise, I'm sure the path is... You know, is 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 easy to follow, uh, but this is cool. No. Could my feet hurt? This bit is grueling. We're in Anathema, which doesn't look like the sort of place you get on a mountain. That's my theory. Uh, That's not what Anathema means, it, though. What does it mean? It's like a thing that is abhorrent to you or not known to you. Oh, I thought it was like it's no, not known word. to the environment. That's the other word. What's the other word? You mean like a thing out of place? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, across the bottom you can put the definition of anathema. I'll get it off the yeah? internet. And we'll see. And I will gladly accept I'm Anachronism. wrong. Anachronism? No, that's, no, that's the word of a thing out of its place. No, we're just adding words in. We're heading up here. We're still following the yellow. Wow, look at the size of that tree. Wow, that's a massive tree. Big tree. I can't see the top because I can't move my head back that far. There is some really cool flowers and plants and things here as well. I don't know. Oh, there, there's one, but you, you know, it, it's a really cool one. You can, maybe Which you can put a picture. Oh, yeah. Did I just turn it? Yeah, you did. 
to look at the tree. Sorry about that folks, but if you're using your phone, obviously just turn your phone. And as we come to the end of Anathema, we sat here to have our lunch. Here's our lunch spot. A lovely spot. With some sort of lizard sculpture <laughs> made of trees and a rock. And like the land of big trees. Uh, we nearly come into the top of the really steepy bits, so it should even out a little bit, and then it's we can. Cold. And it's getting cold, yeah. It's getting cold. Must have to get the cold. Uh, but yeah, all systems go. I think we're about two thousand, nearly two thousand two hundred meters. So a lot better once we've done with the steep bit. This has been really, yeah. really tough. So we've done over a thousand meters essentially, which is the majority. Onward. So? How are we? Oh, I've just spotted some red. It's on the trees behind you. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go, red. We're still playing spot the red. Yep. We're getting near the top. We spotted a tree no, with we're a. Getting near the top. We're getting near the flat. We spotted a tree that either looks look like a mythical kind of god, one hundred handed giants, or like it's got a bollock. <laughs> uh, either way, it's cool. Um, I think we're getting. You know, we're nearly getting there. Yeah. We feel better for eating. I feel better for eating. I feel worse least. for eating. Well, we found something that first looked like a trig point, then looked like Wally. Or Wally. It's got red on it. And yellow. And danger. <laughs> Oh yeah, could be. Well, God, I reckon that's a light airplane. Well, here we are on the top of something. <laughs> the trees seem to be dwindling now. I mean, there's one there, but. I think we're coming towards the tree line. Well, we, we are definitely coming towards the tree line. It won't be long now before we're in the altitude zone. I think we're probably around 2,400 now, maybe a little bit less, I don't know. But, uh, look over here. Yeah, wandering in the mist. Slightly lost. Only slightly. There's a can which leads you off. And presumably it's for scramblers and down there. Yeah, we're off course. We need to be. Where do we need to be? Like Further that. right. Okay, come on then. Onward. Hence that. Yeah. Not good. That'll be tomorrow. For what? For what feels like the first time, a chink of blue sky. That's where we're heading up, which is just incredible. It's cool. Do you think we've got to go down there? It's just scree. Well, we just bumped into some some other people uh, walking in our direction. First people we've seen walking in our direction. Uh, and they said that there's supposed to be lots of snow on top of Matikas. So, we're probably out of the question. Uh, We've got this summit though on our journey so far. What's it called? Squatter. Squatter. Squatter, and it's like we're walking into the sun. Zeus. Golden shower of Zeus. 
For the first time I feel like I need sunglasses. Here we are at the top. Oh, look at that, it is. So we're in the heavens, look. there you go. And there's a glimpse of the peak. That's it. Above That's the good. clouds. Hopefully the clouds will move enough. There you go. Just through the clouds. to this bit and there's a little bit of a climb back We just climbed up that bit of rope, which was pretty cool, and not very long, but fucking deadly bit scary. You don't need to go that way. You'll see a red mark over there, and you can go around. So you walk on a little bit, and then away from these poles, which are presumably put there for the snow. And it snows. Over there, there's a herd of cases, maybe, I don't know. Go onward. Over there in the distance, you can barely see it in the clouds. You can see it there. That's a refuge. It might be our refuge, it might not be. It would be really cool if it was. And there we have.
have it through the clouds. The Stegosaurus back of Matikas. At least I think it is. There's three of them. There's, I think it's Stefani, Matikas, and Scoglio. So maybe that's one of them. Well, it's definitely one of them, but. Here's the refuge, which we don't think is our refuge now, so we keep them walking. There's that amazing mountain scape. There's Beck. And there we have it. That Greek frog. And behind it, the refuge. That's good. Over here. That's a refuge. Refuge. Greek flag. It's really cold. Mountain. Big mountain. So here we are in the refuge. <laughs> this is our little bunk. Well, our bunk. We're not on our bunk. But we might have a room to ourselves because there's not that many people here. But we might. And then. We should go over and find out where the toilets are. Outside? Yeah. Around the back. I hope I don't need to pee in the middle of the night. <coughs> That's why you can sleep that side. You'll have to excuse the sound of the generator. So we found out that's Stefani. And behind it, there is Scolio. And somewhere in between them is Mitikas. Mitikas? Mitikas. So you can't actually see between us from here, which is the one we were hoping to, hope to walk, but we'll have to wait and see until the morning. Uh, there's Beck, she's just been to the loo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go and get something to eat now. Morning. <coughs> Morning. <laughs> no more. 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 No Whilst it's, whilst it's hard to see a path across there right now, we're going to cut our way through that, through Stefani, go around the other side of it, like goats. <laughs> uh, it looks scary and cool. People say, why do, you, why do you go up mountains? Why do you bother going up these high mountains? Is it just for the achievement? And no, <laughs> it's for this. Which you wouldn't see, would you? You would not see, see this anywhere else. Unless you came up here. You know, a picture doesn't do it justice. It takes your breath away, yeah. There's my love, walking along. This is what we just walked across, across here. From the refuge there, that's where we walked from yesterday, right the way over there, and that peak there, and that's the clouds, and that's where we're going. And then we come around the corner, you get a whole new view.
as terribly sad as it is to see this, it's also not the thing you want to see when you're going up there. You'll see it when you come to it. Yeah, in the land of the giants, the gods, Zeus. See Zeus, we're coming to the top of Zeus's home. There's just one here, there's one here that's a bit, you just need a big stretch, but if I wait for you. All right, stones. All right, so we stopped the refuge tonight at 2,697 metres and then today it's just about 250 metres of ascension but it's a climb it's proper scrambling Luke you'd love this you really would me and my climbing partner That's where we've come from. Down there. That's where we're going. Up there. And there's a the sound of ice coming down now. Just too high, look at these big hairy bits yeah. of ice. A few more days. Yes well yesterday we wouldn't have been able to climb up. Uh, we met several disappointed people. Oh stone. Ice. What is it? Uh, yeah, so because our schedule got accidentally pushed forward, we actually worked out better for us. Well, we're very close to the top. It's taken us about around 45 minutes, which is what they said it'd take, which is shocking because normally we're like twice as long. There's the top. Uh, over there, that's Stefani, uh, and beyond that is our refuge. This is our first glimpse of the other side. Oh, I love this. That's the top of Greece. All of a sudden it's got quite windy back, so we need to be careful. can't really film this climbing because it's a climb. So here we are at the top of Beck, top of Greece. Yeah, it feels amazing. It's really amazing. A little book to sign. This is probably the busiest of the of the big yeah. mountains of Europe that we've been up, or bigger, bigger mountains. Partly because we yeah. came up quite the quiet route and then all of a yeah. sudden yeah. we came up the more difficult route. There's two guys that were ahead of us at one point. <laughs> and we weren't even going fast. For any boring parents out there, <laughs> <laughs> there's a Greek flag, and I'm going to sign the book. As you come to the bottom from up there, you realise that the most difficult bit is here because it's just really exposed. And if you fell, you could easily fall. You can't see it because of the mist, but you could fall a thousand metres. So this is the bit where we need to be really slow and uh, just safe. We're quite close to the path. We just need to take it easy. So we made it down the Matikas scramble. Now all that remains is about a 10k walk down the mountain back to the car, which is going to be probably the less fun aspect of climbing a mountain than what it is for me going down. Uh, one thing that made this seem a lot easier than we thought it was going to be and everyone said it was going to be was the fact that we've got some really cool shoes. So we wore boots up here so far and then from here we wore shoes. Beck's got some Scarpa Crooks ladies obviously uh, and I've got some 5K 
10 guide tennis. That's what the back looks like. They're, been awesome. they're really sticky. Uh, you I'm feel a little bit like Spider Man. I'd be able to do stick my toes into gaps and, and really just put my feet flat on things. It made it, made it, the, it easier. Made it doable. <laughs> made I it doable. I could have done it in a booth. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. Right, so back down now. Refuge. Refuge and back. Well, it took us just under five hours to get back. We're aching. Oh, we are. <laughs> uh, and down here waiting for us was Doc. This is a nice little end to our mountain adventure. And now we're off to somewhere by the beach for three nights to recoup. <laughs>